My name is Noob Trader, and today's date is August 2nd, 2017. To go over with you guys today what happened in the market, I will show you guys um, exactly. So let's go back to yesterday's news of the API. Yesterday's news for the API, after it fell down significantly, it found enough strength to rally up to pass the $49 handle. But um, at the API news, we actually had a drawdown, so that's why I pushed the um, crude oil all the way down back uh, into the 48.66 area. And after the market, it just kind of um, channeled around there. And eventually on Wednesday at the European session open, it created doji, pushed down towards the 48.50, found enough buyers there and pushed back up past the $49 handle. I'm going to show you guys briefly what happened today inside the market because we're waiting to get in the trade after um, after the EIA number at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Here's the open of uh, electronic pit session open. It just kind of channeled in this area. And um, I kind of called it short around this 49.09, but this was before the news, and it just kind of toppled down. I want to go short, but um, that's what the chart was telling me to do. But I didn't because it did not initially break my – it did not initially break my – um. It did not initially give me an entry to get in accordingly. So the price just kind of hovered around this area. I was looking to get short beyond this 48.55. Never gave me any entry. Uh, someone in my group did uh, short the 82s, and I think he covered uh, in the 70s or 60s because there was no signal. And that it just reversed back up here and closed above the 49.20. Uh, there was a trigger to get in at this 49.33. I believe I got in at the 30 early. But uh, I was a little bit uh, skeptical because the uh, 49 and the 30 was a little bit more on the risk reward side. So eventually I kind of cut out that trade at 31 just to be on the safe side. And here it is. I bought it at 49.30, 49.30 at 8.23 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Eventually I cut it at about an hour and 12, 30 minutes later, about an hour and 20 minutes later uh, because I, I didn't feel it was in my favor anymore. I thought it was going to keep pushing down. It was probably within this bar. But after it um, swing low here and push back up, I saw there was a clear signal to get into a trade. Um, there was a 41 to get in. I was looking for a higher target. It did give me a 57 target, which eventually it did hit right here at this 57. And I was like, oh, I missed that opportunity. So what happened is I stayed in my trade and wait for uh, another um, push back up near the end of the close. And this was another actual trigger, which was at the 49.51. And we were going to target up here in the 49.86 going to ride it into the close of the market and was hoping for it to push up higher. Close of the market was right here at, during the 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So exited at 49.60, which you're able to see here. I got back two in at 43 because I was trying to capture this move here. This is 51 and ex exited right here at this 49.60. So a little bit on the unorthodox side today. Um, I was only up $360. It's okay. It's not great. My total account right here in this area on the top left, it is um, $10,885.96. August 2nd, right now is 11.54. It's connected. It's real time, guys. And um, that's about it today. And you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 5.50 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in the morning. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.